So 101 in real estate scripts, because if you change your language, you change your business. So some of my favorites, is I'm, especially if you're starting out as an auctioneer, I'm an agent that is building a reputation, not relying on one, when you're competing with experienced agents. You also say that, you say to owners, buyers are attracted to the home, not the agent. I'm here today because I'm happy to compete for your business, but I'm certainly not going to bid for it. Then invariably people are asking you around commission deals, paying for advertising, and in that situation you say, look, I'm here to make you money, but I'm not here to save you money, is another really good script that I would suggest. Another good line, because you have to show point of difference. We all know that it's a marketing world but I'm in a position today to do something that no other agent can do. Um, that gets your foot in the door. If someone says no to you, because invariably we're in the not now, no thanks, not interested business, you say, is that no for now or is it no forever? And invariably people will never say ever, it keeps your foot in the door. Uh, people will say when they know you're in real estate, what's the market up to? And inexperienced agents will go, blah, 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 blah. No, no, what's the market up to? It all depends. Are you selling or are you buying? Scripts and dialogues will change your business. Another good one, whenever they make you to ask you to make any compromise, well, that's only going to eat into your equity. And you have to talk in facts and not beliefs. Because everyone's got a belief around real estate. But what are the facts, i.e. in auctions in Auckland at the moment, the facts for me are, we have an average of three bidders turn up. On the day, it costs you $1,188 to get one bidder at your auction. So we say to owners, well, how many bidders do you want at your auction? They are facts, they are not beliefs. Another good closing line that I use in a lot of situations, you're an intelligent person. I'm sure you're gonna make the right decision. You don't like auction? I'm more than happy to sell you a property that no one else wants. And you're not afraid of a little bit of competition? Surely not. Um, when owners um, set expectations around price, another really good one is to say to them, price will always determine activity. If your price is right, the market's gonna hit. If your price is wrong, then you're choosing to keep your property. And they come back and say, yes, but you told me my property was worth a million dollars. That's right, the only thing I'm guilty of is falling in love with your property. But this is where the market is seeing value consistently. So anyway, just a few scripts and dialogues to help you get started to effectively change your business.